What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt, and I'm back with some more Age Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the top of the map in the red color, playing as Isis. His name is Nebuchadnezzar, but he has revealed himself, I believe, in a stream, and is actually Joe. So Joe's back, smurfing around, but he's revealed himself now. So he's sitting high on the ladder and showing everyone the business his opponent today in the blue color playing as hades his name is hell's ravage else is back again as well trying to get back into form if you ever take a break from this game it often takes uh, anywhere from it depends on it depends on who, what your game style is but generally most players take around a week before they start getting a glimpse of their former self and then a month where they're back to where they were so Hells is in that that probably in that um earlier stage of the of the grind to back to back to full final form. Uh, and, and often what happens is if you do take the big bigger uh, prolonged breaks and you come back and you're trying to like relearn how how you all the muscles you need to make and all the strategy and stuff, oftentimes you learn a lot of new stuff and become a lot stronger as well. So a lot of players who have had breaks and then come back have become much stronger. Um, I think Magic kind of fits that category pretty well because he's always been like one of the best players, but the level always kind of goes up. Um, when when he's when he's away, everyone gets better, and then he comes back and he's he he he, he kind of struggles for a little bit, and then he levels up above where the the pre's previous self, and, he, and that that's kind of how it works a little bit. And I feel a little bit like we're seeing that slightly here with Joe because Joe took uh, a little bit of a break, and um, you know he's obviously playing incredibly well right now. But we are seeing his ISIS. The map is Blue Lagoon, and yes, this is a Vubly rated game Vubly ladder rated game we see these giraffes getting eaten up here one of isis's worst nightmares is a blue lagoon map where you don't find incredibly close uh incredibly close hunt uh, and we do see this this food is here for uh for joe but it's not the best of food uh and he does have these um these gazelle over here, which he has spotted, so he's going to be completely fine to move over to those. Normally, I like to be scouting with my pharaoh early here with Isis, just so I know where I need to go, uh, especially against gods like against the Greek gods, because what you don't want is you don't want to let the Greek gods move forward and push you off of your off of your hunt with their first two heroes super early. That's what you don't want. But if we look over here for Hells, I don't know if he's seen it or not, but this town center is an absolute beauty. Double elephant behind trees. This is going to be fantastic for Joe here. So the temple is coming up. I, I imagine Joe will attempt it to get this up as fast as he can. The problem here is with Isis, you don't have access to shifting sands. So Chiron uh, Minotaur and Ajax super early can actually deny an Isis's second town center. So we'll see what's going to happen. There's also a relatively close gold mine to this town center as well. So we'll see. Kataskopos running around, checking out the map. They'll see a forward gold mine. The house is already going around to defend this one. This is a classic Joe technique adopted by uh, others like John Arbiter and... Uh, uh, I believe Kimo does this as well now. Uh, but people used to just build the wall around here, but Joe throws up the houses and then builds a wall sometimes as well if he's feeling extra under pressure. Against Hades, probably don't have to worry so much. Hell's just about to advance to the next age, going very, very late here. Just under the five-minute mark, it looks like, or just on the five-minute mark, just under the five-minute mark, hitting at maybe 4.58 here. So not going to have a car on very easily at all. We can see Joe's probably also going to the next stage. He's going through Bass nice and quick here. Uh, unluckily, an idle laborer here is Joe maybe AFK. Not looking at his stuff. Not doing his things. Anyways, move that those villagers over there. Fix that one up. We see the villagers moving forward onto this location. The wall's coming up. Potentially, Joe going to look to grab this town center, which is actually quite nice as well with the double rhino, the gazelle here, and a back gold mine. With these walls set up, this is going to be very, very nice for Joe. And especially because Hells is so late to the next age, he probably can get this up, especially with the help of the priest, the pharaoh, the, the sphinx. We'll see if that's what he's going to go for if he goes for the back one. 
against Hades, you might even want to go for um, uh, you might even want to go for three three town centers here sometimes because it's almost a given that Hades wants to go two town centers here himself. So if you rush the three town centers up, if you can, I mean, obviously with the Ajax here, it's a bit tougher. Uh, you can be in a good position here. As you do see the villagers over here ready to chuck that town center up yeah. there as there to empower. He's got the, the elephant here. And you can see this is classic Joe Build Orders. If you want to learn how to play Isis, a, a Ra set, Watch Shim Joe build, who's already stuffed it up. I was going to say he's really good at this, but the way that you play this as Isis, unless if, maybe he wants to get some upgrades or something, but the way you play this as Isis is five villagers onto gold, the rest come over onto food. Uh, he is pushed off of this location here, but you can just bring these villagers over here onto the elephant and he's going to be completely fine, safe, and happy. We see the walls finished over here. The Minotaur does come in. The down center is finished. The villagers starting up here as these villagers finishing up on these berries. They're just going to move over onto the lumber camp. Looks like Joe's going for a not very quick heroic age. Um, you can do a two town center, like a 430 advance time with Isis with this map. You could easily do a 430 with Ra Isis set uh, and get an eight minute heroic age here. But this build that Joe's doing, he's got idle town center and, uh, and this is just classic calamity. Let's check out what's going on over in Hells's camp here. We see the second town center is up for Hells. This is kind of standard modern uh, Greek versus Egyptian theory. The uh, the theory doesn't quite work for Isis because Isis has got an earlier power spike than Ra and uh, and Set, uh, so you got to be super careful. And the way around the power spike is exactly this: walls going up everywhere, buildings going up everywhere, and you just delay as much as you can um, the answers of Eclipse. And you might even have to sack a town center and then get it back after the answers of Eclipse is down. We do see the Chiron trying to be a little bit obnoxious here. This wall does help out a lot, prevents the Chiron from coming in onto this side to harass these villages with the Pharaoh and power in the temple. That's going to do a lot of damage there. And you see some Hippocons now coming out for Hells as he is pumping those villages very very quickly uh and now we see joe with the 23 villages on food he's gonna have to start putting some villages over to gold soon here we see this villager bringing the elephant in nice little uh micro from joe as the elephant is finishing up over here he does have to retreat the villager back but not paying attention may actually lose this villager as well nope does not the elephant does die in a bit of an awkward space here but the uh he will get that um that granary up and be completely fine. I've seen some more wooden walls coming up over here for Hells. Just making sure his map is as safe as possible. Uh, one of the things you do have to worry about as Hades is the uh, the fast units of Egyptian, the chariot archers, the camelry getting the raids. If you have walls up though, it's a bit harder for the walls. Well, impossible for the chariot archers to raid if you have the walls up. But the camelry, a bit harder to raid with the walls because then the Hippocon will catch up and it's fine because they have to bash through the wall. And also with the Hades walls, a little bit more HP on them, 625 instead of 500. Sorry. Yes, 625 instead of 500. I was like, <laughs> that's not right. This has got 600 over here, but 600 and 750. Extra 150 uh, HP on them or, or something like that. Anyways, Hell's moving forward. He does have a gold star potential here though. So he could go two town center all in on this with Athena. Um, obviously a wall here would be really, really good as a retreat path for... Uh, four hells away from an ancestor's eclipse and he could return and hit a curse timing and then follow that with an artemis timing um that would be a really really strong strategy here the monument for joe over here joe would have to be aware that a potential um a potential earthquake is coming his way so he'd have to monument here and also monument over here that's a lot of resources in favor uh, that he would have to spend in order to protect everything with monument protection as Isis. So uh, we'll see what happens. We see the, the second stable coming up for Hells uh, as he's pumping out units still. He is. He does have double archery range here, which I don't like as much. Uh, there's like you are Hades, so the, the Toxodes are a lot stronger, but they have no utility until after you've got a setup base, after you've set something up somewhere. Uh, so. He can use them to defend, I guess, but in this situation, I don't feel like defending is the option. We see the Sphinx coming in onto this location here. Hell's going to be trying to retreat the villager away. Should be able to get that one. A nice little path blocking there, though the, the villager is in a bit of strife here, trying to retreat away from the Sphinx, not actually paying attention here. We've got the Chiron coming through, and that will chase that Sphinx off. 
And I'm sure Hells is into the Heroic Age now. Yes, he's through Nephthys very, very late, but he's going to have some very strong economy here. If we check this out, we do have Shaft Mine, Hand Axe, uh, and Hunting Dogs looks like no husbandry yet, yeah, question mark? This is a question mark because there's, he's eating the goat. He's eating the pigs. Husbandry is always worth it to get because it helps your farms out. So, got to get that uh, that husbandry as soon as you get onto those pigs. Gives you so many more resources. Or even before the pigs, to be honest. Especially if you've got it. But now we're going to start seeing those chariot archers coming out. Pharaoh's grabbing this gold mine. And Hell's not in position to defend or prevent that from going up. So, no attempt at a defensive ancestors being forced here is going to be a very, very difficult situation for Hell's to be in. As Joe is going to be able to hit a brutal timing attack here. Or even simply just grab this town center with a threat of ancestors eclipse being a, a lot we do see some uh, raids coming through the sphinx in this location the scorpion man over here there's the ancestors eclipse onto the economy now we've talked about this a little bit in regards to how this works on vanilla where essentially this this ancestors eclipse was um was a was a big deal on vanilla but on the titans with this second town center having only half of your economy or not even half your economy just a little bit of your economy idle to an ancestors eclipse timing it, it doesn't really matter that much we just see the uh hippocon coming back there is a random scorpion man here the uh the minion's gonna be going after these units here hells does have to run away does have these villages kind of in the middle of nowhere here he's gonna be losing a couple of them Nice play from Joe, getting a lot of kills here. And now Joe's going to be moving forward with the Chariot Archers going after these forward villages on the wood line. Hells will be retreating. But Joe's in a commanding position here. He can now grab this town center as well. Continue to boom here and be absolutely fantastic. So this, this Ancestors Eclipse on the economy from Joe doing absolute work here. Honestly, imagine if this was even earlier than this. This could have been even, even worse. Seeing more villages getting sniped here. This Scorpion Man with 37.5 HP during the Eclipse. Absolute beast of a unit during Eclipse. You see some more units getting sniped here. The Hippocon coming over here going to attempt to snipe down the Pharaoh, uh, but the Chariot Archers should be able to prevent that one from happening there. And the town sent up for Joe does get up. Now, Hells does still have Restoration. He does still have Curse, but this is a very tough position to be in for Hells. As he has lost a lot of villages. In fact, if we just check out the villages total right now, I feel like it'll tell a bit of a tale. Yep, 48 down to 41. And we're up to 64 villages here. 42 to 60, uh, whatever I said. 61, 60, whatever it is. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> see the uh, the L's units, villages jumping onto this location now. A little bit safer. The walls are not really finalized here. And imagine... Had Hells finished these walls off, that Sphinx would never have got into the economy in the first place to cast Ancestors. Uh, and, and honestly, that is that is the big reason why you want to wall up. One of the big reasons why you want to wall up is just to prevent that from, from happening. But Hells leaves a gap and gets a lot of damage because of it. Now, all this being said, Joe's got 1,600 wood in the bank, so I'm not sure if the economic damage is really as big as it looks or not because... um. Joe's not spending his resources on anything. He might be throwing up a market and then selling all of that that wood for gold uh, and then buying his way to the Mythic Age. Um, as an option here, he's throwing up more walls and, and now Hells is like, all right, I got to go. Got to put some pressure on. So he's going to be making a forward movement here. 116 population units. I'm not sure what he plans to do. It's not like Hippocon do a, a lot of damage to buildings. They do 11 hack damage a second. It's not enough at this stage to really push through this position. The village is moving forward here. Looks like they want to grab these rhinoceros at this point. You can check out Joe's economy here. It's still very, very strong. Uh, as we're seeing, the scorpion man coming through. The pharaoh needs to help target down these units of theirs. The uh, restoration here is the villagers do move forward. The Toxodes doing some damage here. The heavy chariots does come through. Joe will start making those mercenary cavalry, sending them directly to the Toxodes. They've got so much pierce armor. It's actually only 34% pierce armor, but so much HP with the pierce armor uh, that they completely nullify those Toxodes in these fights. But uh, Hells does, sorry, Joe does overproduce the mercenary cavalry here as Hells is retreating away. 
We've got the Granary coming up for Joe. Joe feels pretty comfortable in this position. Minotaur coming into the fray, though. The Pharaoh on the front line is going to do a lot of damage. A nice micro there from Hells. Bringing the Pharaoh back. Does snipe that one, but not before taking another shot from the uh, the Pharaoh there. And we are seeing Hells continuously trying to push his way through here. But I do not think that his units are quite strong enough in this position. No Pierce army here still has to deal with these mercenary cavalry that are just going to continuously get produced. So many resources in the bank for Joe. Nice micro there from Hells pulling the cavalry back. This Minotaur will do a lot of damage. Oh, unfortunately, using his special on a nearly dead chariot archer there. Uh, but Hells still pushing through. Does he have any idle, idle military anyway? He's got a couple of idols, but not too many. Still making some good progress through these units. The Chariot Archers do so well with the assistance of those mercenary cavalry here. We see the villagers retreating over here. Going to be moving through the gate. Doing their thing back home. And I've got it. You've got to assume that Joe's going Mythic Age here. No. He's not. Well, Minotaur is immortal indeed. Going to be retreating back though. Tried to do the damage. And Hells realizes he's really not going to be able to make any decent movement. He is currently an interesting decision, but a decision, decision nonetheless. Granary for a hyena. Not even sure that's worth the uh, the time it takes to build it. 100 food, the, the granary costs 50 wood. Not sure. Anyways, Hell's on the back foot. Joe with the pure chariot ball. Still no siege towers up. And just the chariots to come in here. We we still don't have any copper shields. So we have an armory up. We don't have an armory for Hell's just yet. Joe, on the other hand, starting to make the trade from the back corner uh, to the wrong town center, though. Maybe he's building a market over here and he's going to... And it'll fix itself. That's the that's the genius of Joe. Planning for the future. And Hell's pushing back in. Trying to utilize those Haiti Shades. The dead units. Trying to move them in. Help them push through these, these uh, chariot arches. But man, without the... Uh, oh, nice try on the micro here. But Joe is too quick with this. Without heavy chariots, sorry, without heavy cavalry, the heavy chariots are just a little bit too strong for a couple of Hippocon here. These chariots, they cost three population. They've got good damage, and they trade really fast. So they are super high value units here. But uh, maybe some villager assistance, uh, or maybe retreating back to the Migdol. Seeing the villagers moving over onto the mining camp now as Joe is retreating. Still not able to make much ground, and Hell's actually managing to keep up in this fight so far. He's drawn up a tower in the front here. That's to just hold on to the position. We're seeing no more walls coming up for, uh, for Hell's, though. I think he should be considering that there. Hell's now decent resources, sitting full population, 145 of 145 population here. There is potential for Hell's to, to take this to distance, but we're seeing Thoth. Thoth coming through for Joe. We love seeing some Thoth. This is going to give uh, Joe some serious pushing power. The, the Phoenix is the big reason you want to go Thoth here. And we're seeing that monument to the priests coming up, the monument to the soldiers over here, monument to the villagers. All the town centers are protected from earthquakes. That's three monuments, and that's going to be a lot of favor incoming. So we'll see what Joe wants to spend that on. Sometimes he goes Valley of the Kings. Sometimes he goes uh, Tusks of Apodemarch. Sometimes he goes for Phoenix. Uh, and, and other times he goes for that Book of the Foth. Book of Thoth straight away. So all of those all of those options take a lot of favor. Uh, so we'll see if that's going to be what he chooses. He looks like he's going for uh, the Tusk of, of uh, Apodemark first here, given he's got the heavy elephants out already. And we'll see if he's going to upgrade any of those. We'll just take a look at the favor and when that drops, see what upgrade he's going to be getting here. Chariot Archers swing around, going to try and snipe these Toxodes down, doing a nice job of that. The Elephant will be able to take down this Watchtower very, very quickly, though. Uh, no upgrades on the Watchtower, except for Watchtowers here. Uh, the Hades unique ability does help out a little bit, but these Elephants do so much damage to buildings. What is it, plus 150%? Plus 200%? Look at that damage. 18.2 a second. 
Phoenix coming in as well. And we'll see. Let's see if Joe knows. If Joe knows. So Meteor normally not enough to take down a town center, but Meteor plus a Phoenix? Now we're talking, because this is 40 hack, 40 crush. We do see the Chiron coming back here for Hells, though. That's going to be a, a little bit of a disaster for... Uh, for hell for uh, Joe's Phoenix though the uh, the meteor does drop down there onto the farm it's taking them all down and look at that town set it's so absurdly low with the car and coming back the uh, the Phoenix will be falling here no assistance with chariot arches or anything uh, and the town center lives with 868 HP no surprises there we do see the uh, sentinels coming down uh, the, the the meteor always a little bit underwhelming in the damage though it picked up a lot of farms which is going to hurt a lot for uh for hells who's now seemingly stuck in the heroic age and no he's going mythic age through hephaestus here we might be able to see uh hells mounting a comeback here through hephaestus lost a lot of favor in the bank and we haven't seen those upgrades just yet for joe he does have valley of the kings now these elephants are gonna be coming out so quickly uh Honestly, I don't think that Valley of the Kings is the first upgrade you want to get, though. It's nice if you don't have many MIG dolls, but Joe's got two up. Potentially more? No, just two. So maybe it is fine, but you could easily just get uh, Tasks of Appadamark and a third MIG doll in, instead of Valley of the Kings first. It'd be just as, just as good. I think it's roughly similar resources for all of that as well. But not, uh, not a thing. And we see the temple go down, so no free Colossus here. Oh no, just kidding. There's a there's a temple in the back. But Hell's just about to pop into the Mythic Age. We'll see if we can deal with these elephants. These elephants are gonna be so absurdly strong here. Uh that I don't I don't know what he can make here. We see Toxodes coming into the fray, but he needs like hoplite or something at this point. Thank you so much for the 17 months. Quixotic Pragmatic. Thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate you. There's the champion elephants out for uh, for Joe, and I think he's going to be getting that tusk of Appadamark as well here. Look at these Thank elephants. You. Already at 652 HP. When you get the tusks, do they go up to 700 and something here? I think they do. Because they're going to be able to maybe even solo all of these Toxodes here. Um, just because of how much damage they do. Look at that. Boom. One. Two, three, four. We do see an underworld passage coming in here in an attempt to jump over and defend the front town center that has been repaired. The elephants immediately targeting down the underworld, though. That's going to prevent the reinforcements coming over onto this side. The elephants do fall over here. Tusk of Appadamak just about to pop here as they go up to 742 HP. The uh, the Valley of the Kings technology just flooding this location with units without having access to the uh, the, to the Medusa here. Uh, this is These elephants are just way too strong. No one-hit units for Hades. It's a very, very interesting try here from Joe. He also, no answer to Colossus though for Joe, so Hells might want to try and pump out a bunch of Colossus here, and that is kind of what he's doing, only three villages on favor though. The Colossus, very, very strong here, and actually not a bad try against the Elephant. Look at the damage differential here, like, it's it's actually fairly close, 20 hack versus 21, and you also have the Crush that is applied as well, so that's up to 21 as well, so the, both these units doing 21 damage a piece, and the Colossus, they have 1100 HP, so they, they kind of compete. Um, with the elephants, especially when you get those upgrades. We'll see if uh, if Hells can hold here. He's throwing up the fortresses. The other answer to elephants is simply just towers with crenellations. If you get up guard towers with crenellations, these are these elephants start becoming very, very sad. Meanwhile, we're seeing the Colossus coming through. The priests are out. There's no funeral rites for them just yet. As Joe is just going to be pumping them out to deal with them. If Hells had had some upgrades onto these Colossus, they'd be able to tank for even longer, but does not have them just yet. These Toxodes need to be taken out the uh, priests for sure, but the, 
The uh, elephant's just pushing through. We are seeing some Prodromas coming through. Hell's not able to afford those towers that he so drastically needs here. No food economy either as those farms were sniped. We're seeing farms coming over here. Some inefficient wood gathering for Hell's. His upgrades are incredibly good here. So he should be able to get that economy going. But it's might maybe possible that Joe can get a gold staff here because we do not really have any trade routes set up. We've also got Migdol's controlling both sides of the map and watchtowers coming up on this location as well we see the uh, colossus going to be trying to eat this gold line up some towers coming down for joe as the colossus coming through here and joe is just trading really really efficiently here however he's not able to support the um the real the resources or actually if he spent the resources he could probably support them but he's he's not doing that he might be attempting to attack elsewhere he is going for the main base here with all the elephants into this migdol stronghold sacrificing this location here potentially in favor of going after the home base he's got how many elephants here eight elephants eight champion elephants fully upgraded just needs those armory upgrades we do see a couple of units coming over onto this location and hells will see this coming through the elephant's going to be able to tear down the wooden walls incredibly fast as we're seeing another migdal stronghold coming through here the watchtower guard tower i should say up as well colossus trying to tear this down but there's architects up already for joe so that's not going to go down fast as all the elephant march has begun 12 elephants coming for the main base of hell's ravage he's not made a in a uh a single reaction to this as the town center has no masons, no architects, no architects, sorry, and 10 elephants currently attacking it. Now Hells does notice it's going to be starting to get that repair incoming here. And Joe just sacks this entire location over here as the town center goes down so quickly. And Hells is not able to hold on here on that location. So now Hells down to 140 population. Joe at 169 population. He's going to be able to get this town center for himself as well. Sending villages forward, moving slowly but surely. Ballast the towers up now. We do see some units coming over for Hells. But Joe's now able to take down their houses as well. He's cut off the farms on this location as well. So Hells is also really short on food yet again. Only 13 villages gathering food on this location this army movement shifting the front of the battle from joe so so ridiculously good these toxodes are absolutely useless against the 51 percent pierce armor elephants here and joe is cleaning this up beautifully we do see the heliopolis cleans up this front from uh from joe and hells does get access to this uh, this gold mine that he's currently eating uh, but we'll see if uh, if he can hold on to this location or not. The village is trying to get this back up. Joe doesn't look like he's spamming elephants out of here anymore. Uh, as so They're all kind of just in on this location here. Where, where, where's he sending them? He's getting some more coming through. Mercenary cavalry coming in, though they do die very shortly after they come in onto this fight. So a lot of gold for, uh, for not very much, but Joe's got so many resources in the bank here. He's getting those armory upgrades as well. He gets access to the Plenty Vault for himself here stables trying to come down houses trying to come down but hells has just got nothing left over in this game apart from a couple of heliopolis which while are very strong here the elephants will take them out and hells taps out just before the 26th minute here gg well played by joe showing off why I thought this underutilized, underappreciated here. Really, really nice play from Joe. Absolutely loved it. The early ancestors eclipsed to deal the damage, set Hells back, and then Joe never took his foot off the gas here. Thoth with the uh, the meteor on this location to take down the farms, didn't take down the town center, but idled a lot of villages. Um, nice defense with the Chiron though from Hells ma managing to be there to make sure that the town center doesn't go down after that. And then this little swap up to this location, pressuring the town center, kills the underworld passage, then swaps back over here and just cleans this town center up. Wow, what a play here. What a game. GG, well played, Joe. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.